All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Monster. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent up. Uh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Trying to establish that jab once again. Swing and a miss by Lee. Right hook to the body. A little 
single collar tie there. Big call from Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. Alright, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Back mount now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Both fighters back to their feet now. Clocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna call this Ooh! Spinning backfist! Straight right, he misses. Single collar tie now. Lance with the right hand. Coming. Good series of strikes for him there, staying. Another beautiful takedown lane. Lee gets back up again. Right hand punch from the clinch. Good punch, Lance. Oh, spinning back twist out of nowhere. Just out of range with that strike. Good right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Superman punch now. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice. The next with a right. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attack did not. We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he heard him bad with the jab. Throws the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Pretty good right hand. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far. He sets him up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. What a punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so he leads with the right hand there, and it was effective for him. Most times he's behind the jab, but sometimes you gotta just mix it up. Nice entry into the finish direction. Let's go. Take a seat. Slow down and relax. Calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. So here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job 
of mixing up his target. Not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. That punch, no good. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the ball. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Beautiful takedown lane. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch lands over the top. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, collar tied. Right hand punches the clinch. Try to establish that jab. Back and forth we go. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Good stick. Oh, that off he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. All right, you see his high-level footwork here. Maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, single collar tie here. He's so committed to body punching. A great punch, man. So much power. Both fighters throwing heat now. Superman punch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing upside his opponent's head over and over again. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the ball. Oh, that was a big kick. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow. Oh. Seconds now to go in the round. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And they set it. Ten minutes in the books. Well, 
what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five months? That both these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outside. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level. Nice two punch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and made good use of it there. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Misses with that punch. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Unable to connect there. Just out of range with that uppercut. All right, he'll engage the single collar tie. Nice. Wow, big double leg, double change. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out. Just misses there with the left. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie now. How about that shin? Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Overhand left, right to the dome. Blocks the shot. Lee going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. How good is that right hand? He engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there. His opponent lands flush to the midsection. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike. 
right to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Oh, nice hook by Lee. This combination lands. Oh! Got him. Oh, he might be out. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Ooh, what a punch. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, spinning back this out of nowhere. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Beautiful punch. showed any signs of slowing down. Oh! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he might be out. He might be in for trouble. He might be out. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because of it. Oh, oh, right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Man. He's wow. He's good man. He's out. He's done. He's done. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee E for B. That's going to stop this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He can take a breath, but he better turn right around and focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water. The moment that belt changes hands, a lot of guys will be looking to take it from him 